Well, at the moment, the uh, the academy boys are in there being coached by uh, Tim O'Shea, who obviously is our assistant manager at the moment, and they're just going through patterns of play uh, as we have our friendly game tomorrow against Welling. The day-to-day -day they're in every day, Monday to Friday, they'll arrive here at nine o'clock in the morning. We'll do a registration, 9.30. They'll have a meeting with myself and Tim and Eli, the, the education teacher and we'll just discuss what we're going to do for the day so every day is going to be slightly different on a Monday obviously some of them over the weekend might have played so we'll just come in and do a, a technical uh, training session with a bit of fitness as well Tuesday again they'll come in and we'll work on maybe a bit of match play bit of game play set plays uh, still working on their techniques I don't think you can do enough of that Wednesday will be game day uh, like we've got the friendly to tomorrow we'll have um, a league game uh, in a couple of weeks time when that starts. Thursday might be a little bit of a discussion point over what we did in the game, what we can do better, what worked well, and maybe do that and, and implement some of that in the training session. And then Friday, uh, it's been a long week, they've done the education as well. Um, we'll have a bit of a fun day going into the weekend. But after every session in the morning of training, they will then have a bit of lunch and then do the education side with doing the BTEC with Eli. And obviously if they need to upgrade on their uh, maths and English, they'll do that as well. That's exactly why we want to do it. We want there to be a link. We want to create our own players coming into Cray Wanderers, um, you know, starting through the academy, but obviously the youth section as well. So when they get to under 15 and under 16, rather than having nowhere else to go or to, from the under 18s, we want to create a, a little pathway from the youth into the academy that you join together and then obviously uh, into the first team. But, you know, over time we will get a reserve side that will buffer the under 18s and the first team just so there's a little bit of integration with first team players and, and likewise we've had a couple of 15 and 16 year olds training with our first team already because we want to give them that opportunity to know what it's like. Yeah it's a, it's a fantastic gesture from Maria and obviously you know in, in respect of Keith and uh, you know one of these guys will get a reward of a thousand pounds. It won't just be football related it might be the education side it might be a bit of a combination because you know, this is an education-based academy that we're trying to create here. And, you know, some people's level of football might be totally different. So we're going to give it to someone who's punctual, on time, polite, does everything we've asked, bring in the work on time. So it's not just a, the, the best football player. It'll be a combination of everything. And uh, as I say, I think from, from Maria, yeah, Marie, you know, it's a fantastic gesture. We can't thank her enough. Yeah, that'll be in a couple of weeks' time. We've got a friendly tomorrow, as I say, against Welling. Um, and that's why they're doing their patterns of play at the moment with Tim. But um, it's also about making it a professional environment and giving them a, an idea on what they would do as if they were at a professional football club. You know, myself and Tosh have been there and we want to give them that experience of day-to-day -day training, fitness, obviously working on their diet as well and uh, recovery. So, you know, it's, a, it's an all-round academy, but the, the main thing is the, that uh, getting that education so when they leave here they can go to university and hopefully you know go on and be a better person as well Brilliant. thank you, thank you.